right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to this week's episode of Let Me Tell You with your girl, Jordan. I have a special guest in here with me. Hey. Saha the Prince. Saha, hey, I know what time it is. Saha is the man. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but Saha has been out for a long time. Mm -hmm. Like, you've done nine mixtapes, uh -huh. and you are just deciding that now's the time to drop uh -huh. your debut album. Right, right, right. What, what made you feel like now's the time to do it? Um, no, now's the time that I'm allowed to do it. It's like, <laughs> no, now's the time I'm allowed to do it. You know, me, it was just, you know, being so prolific. Certain people just try to do certain things to deter that or be a part of that. And it just got messy in my prior situation, so I had to clean up a lot of different things. So now I'm a, now I'm able to put out music. So now I'm putting it out. I'm putting it all out. It's Machine Gun Kelly. Okay, uh, okay. Now, now when you say prior situation, are you talking about Convict Music? Because I yeah. know you initially were signed with Convict Music mm -hmm. in 2009, and then a year mm -hmm. later you were signed with Good Music, mm -hmm. and that would be 2010. Right. Is there any type of like beef between you and Akon? No, no, you no, no. Get that after no, no, year, no, no, no. It wasn't that, I wasn't, really it was a situation I had with his brother, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So we had a situation at Def Jam, but you know, he was a young exec and they was moving him around different places and he just didn't have the time and the, the, the label didn't want to let me go because they knew how good I was, but then during that time, Ye like started wanting to work with me, so I was already on Def Jam, he was already on Def Jam, so we just, just you know, I started working with him and them and convict worked out the you know logistics okay, okay. and that's how I got on with it. So how did you kind of, I know you were saying you started, uh, you met that partnership with Kanye based mm -hmm. off of him hearing your song on like, what was that, what was it like getting that call from Ye and kind of, I know Jay-Z is one of your mentors, uh -huh. what is it like having that backing and support from not only Kanye but Jay-Z also? Man, you know, it's so crazy, I was like damn near homeless that during that time because I had left the streets, so I thought I was gonna be this good no rapper. So I was like, fuck the streets. Right, right. So you know, I started rapping and rapping, then seeing people wasn't doing this supposed to. So it was like, dang, do I go back to the streets? So now I'm trying to hold it out, and then it was just like to a point where it's like, dang, it's getting bad. So then when he seen my video, it was like that same week I was getting prepared to move out of my crib mm -hmm. and live in my car. And he was like, yo, what you doing? Like, yo, we about to, we in Hawaii, come to Hawaii. So I just left all my stuff and went to Hawaii and then came back and started over. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> so, I know, <laughs> you know, 2012, that was like your first feature almost mm -hmm. with good music and you mm -hmm. were on Cruel Summer. Tell me. When is Cruel Winter coming out? Cause y'all, cause y'all act like it hadn't been five years right. and people not waiting on right, this. Right, right, so right. I, when is there any anticipated release for this? Cruel See, Winter? a lot of people don't know. I'm the missing link to Cruel Winter. Okay. What you doing, man? That's what I'm saying. That's why I need y'all support because a lot of people don't know. I am a big part of the albums and the music that come out from good music. Right, right. But it's like. Once I get the cachet and the, you know, the clout to be able to tell all them to sit down for two weeks of, you know what I mean, and finish this, right. then we can do it. But I think that's what me and Travis is on right now. He already talked to me about it, so, you know, as far as production, Travis is very good at that. So, as far as the writing side, that's kind of my part of the music, and we're kind of putting it together and make it a... No, you Thank you. Cause the good music, I need y'all to listen to this man because yeah. I'm, I'm personally tired of having to work. Right, okay? right, 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 exactly. You right. already been listening to me, you don't know it though. Right, <laughs> pretty much because you've had a couple uh, songs that you've written for Kanye uh -huh. that have been nominated for Grammys, mm -hmm. one of my favorites being Ultra Light Beam. What, what, how was that, you know, writing a song not only for Kanye, but having the song nominated for a Grammy and then having as many big artists that were on the track as there were. What was that feeling for you? Well, it, you know, the, on that particular way, it, it's not more so writing. It's more so of direction, more so of confirmation, more so brainstorming, like, yo, how should I approach this? What would you say? What would you not say? How Would you say anything? Would you say minimal? Would you say a lot? So those are the things that we're, the conversations we're having. It's not more so just sitting in there like, oh, I'll write you a song and here you go. No, right, it's right. Not that type of situation. But a lot of times it's uh, me being there with different writers, different producers, coming up with different concepts, and sometimes we would present it or whatever the case may be and let him go with it. But a lot of those ideas is just really him just being prolific. So I just sit there and just 
to marvel at all the artists that come in the door too and help and put their little pieces on it. It's just, it's just a dope collage of greatness. Do you still get starstruck when you hear all those artists coming in to work on songs that you've written? Um, or are you kind of like, oh no, nah, I'm here now, like, no, yeah, I'm I'm here, like yeah, you, I'm you start feeling it now. Get, they, they're like peers now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They're more peers. They're like, when I first, first got that, I was like, oh, okay, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? But then now they're like, be my folks now. So I'm like, that, oh, that's, 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 that's the family now. Yeah, that's, that's the family yeah, now. You see the Kardashians enough, you'll be like, I'm really a part of the family. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, you just dropped some new music. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Legend and you got New Africa. New Africa is absolutely my favorite. I, you, I was listening you. to it walking to class this morning. Ooh. And like, I forgot to sign attendance because I was, I was vibing <laughs> out so hard in class. Yeah. When, that preparation for New Africa, I know it's a lot of comparisons. It's a lot of what ifs on that song. You know, what if your favorite African-American rapper, your favorite African-American athlete, what if they got together and they did some really big things? What inspired that for you to say, what were you doing when you said, what if they put a strip club in there? Right. <laughs> you know, what was going because, on? Because, man, you know me, man, I'm a realist. That's at the end of the day, I'm a realist. And, you know, I hear, like, I hear, like, I don't speak on a lot of political issues or things that go on because, I have my own personal reasons, and a lot of people may not understand how to comp uh, comprehend those if they don't know my uh, ending goal. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really speak on it, but it's just, I just want to let people understand how fast you can shift something if you don't like it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just like your girl. She don't have to really leave you. But if you see her packing her bag, you're going to get nervous. Now you press. Now, yeah, you, yeah, now you gotta figure yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. You see her, you know, she usually mad at you, but any other time she just super nice. Hey, you like, you know, you just cheated on her. She's just nice. You might wanna watch your back. So, and, and that show is like, just the thought process of that being in the air makes people understand, oh, okay. So that's why I wanna do it in a fun way. But at the same time, that thought is in the air for whomever. You know what I mean? Right. So if it's for us to get our stuff together, to start building mentally our new Africa, where if it's like, you know how they got little China, I mean Chinatown, or they got little Italy, or where's New Africa? So that's what I, you know, they got New England. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> new England, okay. I mean, that, that's, but that's how it started. They right. was all New Hampshire, they was all from the, you know, Europeans. So just building our own community, our own networks, that our own clubs, our own fashion, our own music, that's New Africa. Like, Atlanta's New Africa. That is very true. Atlanta's that, that New is, Africa. That is definitely true. Yeah, and that, I, I encourage our rappers and our entrepreneurs in Atlanta to get on top of these movies that's coming to our city. You know what I'm saying? We should be involved in that heavily. Now, now, can we see you in some Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm more of a writer, so I want to write movies. Okay. I've been working on... Uh, a film script, so I've been working on that as well. Okay, go on, go ahead and cast me in that. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 hey, you look I, like I, you got I, a little personality. Listen, listen, hey, listen, hey, go ahead. Hey, I can crack a joke or two. Uh, you know, I, I'm kind of funny sometimes. Right, right, right. right. No, you are. You are. You yeah, are. so for the album, what can we expect a lot of that pro black empowerment, mm -hmm. that kind of positivity from it? Um, a little, you only know, a little, because I'm not, I don't want to get all the way there too fast. Right, but right. You hear, you hear pieces of that, but what is it about? It's just, the inner city struggle, and just pieces of it, because they need to know, okay, you're a black man from this part of town, they gonna treat you this way. But you gotta know who you are, boom, that's that's one thing. Then, I'm gonna give you stories on how they gonna treat you, and how they treated me, and you know, what struggles you may go through, and even relationship problems, even problems with your parents, problems in school, problems in the street, shootouts, right. friends, like it's all of that on No Dope on Sundays. Okay, okay. That's the name of my album, No Dope on Sundays. Make sure y'all go get that. I gotta be putting it out in two months, but make sure y'all remember that name, No Dope on Sundays. It's gonna change your life. And of course, I will do a review of that album, and I will, hey, be, hey, I, hey, I will hey, be honest hey, with y'all. Hey, I'm gonna hey, let y'all know. Now, my homeboy Daryl, shout out to Daryl. What up, Daryl? He told me to ask you, mm -hmm. will Big Crit be featured on the album? Wow. Because that is somebody, he he really enjoyed the track that you did with him and uh, Yellow Wolf. Right. So he told me, he was like, when I texted him, I was like, yo, Saha is coming in. What do you want me to ask? He told me to ask, will Big Crit be on that? Man, I wish Big Crit could be on my own, but you know, Big Crit, everybody want to work with Big Crit. So it's like, he be like busy, because he, he can rap and hear producer. Right, right. So you got to love, like, he's double booked, but uh, 
you know, hopefully, I, I love to work with Big Crit. That's like my country, we call him country cousin. So yeah, definitely, I'll be, Big Crit, what's happening? I'll meet you up for the fans. Yeah, definitely for the fans. All right, so before we go, um, I got two more questions. Okay. One, what piece of advice would you give to an aspiring artist or rapper trying to make it? Mm. Or something that you live by that helps you, you know, get to where you are. Find something that drives you vigorously. Like, you have to be, I mean, it's a difference. Like, I tell people this all the time, I'm obsessed. Like, a lot of people just, like, have fun or, like, to do music. Like, no, I'm in love with my mission. I'm in love with my message. I'm in love with changing lives. I love how people come to me and don't be excited. But they be like, yo, that number three on who do you change my life. That's what I live for. So I would tell everybody else, be obsessed with everything you want to do that you want to be great at. Don't love it. Don't look like you're talented. Don't have a good time with it. Don't be happy. Be obsessed, because all the people that do this all day in their life, they they succeed. So that's what I was saying. Well, I like to put our viewers up on new artists that they can check out. Who's mm -hmm. somebody new that you're listening to? Um, who's somebody new that I'm listening to? Uh, Jid, J-I-D. Go check him out. Um, I'm listening to um, uh, Valerie June. Go check her out, she's a country singer. Okay. Um, nobody too much, I'm just, I haven't really been listening to that m much music lately because I've been trying to finish my album, so. Okay. That's about it for right now, you know what I mean? Just those are the two artists that you should go check out, I think. Thank you, well thank you for chopping it up with uh, me. No problem. Thank you, Hello. you know, y'all make sure y'all check out his new album when it drops, yes. and of course I will be doing a review. Saha the Prince. Saha, hey. Jordan, this has been Let Me Tell You.